Rebels, it's me, Nandi Bushell. Today, I'm here with Nike Kids and Rebel Girls to spark the joy of sport. I'm so excited about this collaboration. Right now, I'm here with Kadisha Buchanan, who is a world-class defender in women's soccer, or as we say in England, football. Hey Kadisha, thank you so much for being here. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I love your enthusiasm. Uh, nice meeting you. Um, yes, I'm a defender. I play for Chelsea and the Canadian women's national team. I love sneakers. I love football. Um, I love the beaches. I love hanging out with friends and family. And I like to nap. That pretty much sums me up. I started when I was eight years old, so I felt like I was a bit later than the normal girls who started at four or five. So I was a little bit nervous in that aspect, but I also loved the game and I was just ready to join a soccer team. What about on a match day? How do you psych yourself up and get rid of the nerves? I think for the most part, I don't really have nerves unless it's a really massive game. If it's a sold out crowd or it's the finals of an Olympic gold medal, I think that's when I get really nervous. But I think it's just always good nerves. If you could offer one bit of advice to the young rebels out there, what would it be? One advice that worked for me, and it's like, like I said, I started when I was eight years old. Thought that I was a bit later than the other other girls out there. My mom always said, and my father always said, just stick to your own path. They can start early, they can start later, but you have your own path and you just try to walk your path. Don't get jealous that she's doing something else before you and she's doing a trick before you that you didn't learn. As long as you put in the hard work, the trick will come. So even in life, when you don't make a team, it's just not your moment and you try again and try again and you make it maybe next year or a year later. So I think everyone's on a different path and you shouldn't watch what your peers are doing or your partner is doing because I feel like you have your own path to, to, to walk on and to run on. What music are you listening to now? What songs are in your playlist? Um, at the moment, I listen to a lot of reggae, old school reggae, a lot of dancehall reggae, and a lot of Broadway. And I heard you had 11 siblings. Growing up, did that affect the way you play as a part of a team? Yeah, I think that had a lot of effect of how I am as a footballer and how I am as a person today because Growing up with 11 siblings, it's a bit chaotic in the house. So I find that my personality is more calm and like calmness because I had so much chaos and fun and excitement at home that I, I'm more like reserved and I like to chill because growing up with a lot of siblings and on the field, I feel like I've gotten more competitive and more resilient because playing with two of my older sisters, they were stronger than me a lot smarter than me on the ball and faster than me. So I had to try to maneuver around them and and try to play, play with them. And when they used to like knock me off the ball, I used to cry to my mother because I don't know, I was sad and I was getting down on myself. But my mom reassured me that you just have to keep trying and then keep trying. And then that's how I got better in the end. Have you experienced any setbacks? And if so, how did you overcome them? Setback was when I was about 12 years old and then I was trying to make a certain team, but I didn't end up making making it. And and I don't think it was because I wasn't good enough. It's because I didn't have the funds and my parents didn't have the funds to, to actually pay and to be on that team. So it was kind of hard that I couldn't make the team and I felt like I was good enough to make the team, but it was just like some things that were out of my control that made me set back, but I think I just had to work hard and work smarter and there's a different coach and the other coach accepted me for how I am. And I think it's difficult, obviously, my mom growing up with seven girls, like it was, was hard for her to make the funds for every team, every travel. So I think we had a lot of community support around to, to help me get where I am today.